For those about to fry, we salute you. Don't worry, I'm not frying Cody, I'm frying the bird. But before we fry the bird, you gotta brine the bird. So let's get into our brine. Two most important ingredients, salt and sugar. Just gonna cover this with a little bit of water and dissolve it on the stove over a little bit of heat. Next, we're gonna start to add a lot of flavor to our water. That's only water in there. First, we're gonna add a cup of honey. Make that skin nice and golden brown. Half a cup of soy sauce, enrich the flavor of that meat. Aromatics. A few bay leaves and the fall herbs. Rosemary, sage, and thyme. Couple onions I got laying around. Just gonna quarter them up. A few garlic cloves. Just smash them up. Rough chop. Fresh orange. Whack them in half. Squeeze out all that juice. Our sugar and salt is dissolved. Then dump that right in there as well. Just gonna mix that all together. Get that honey off the bottom. Get it all incorporated. It should be nice and cold. You got all the aromatics, all the citrus, all that intense, flavorful liquid ready to rock before we hit it with our bird. Good soup. Now, all you gotta do is add the bird. Drop her in there. Just like so. I personally love to shove some of those oranges and onions right into the cavity, but this is absolutely perfect. You just want to make sure the bird is submerged. Throw this in the refrigerator overnight. If it's cold enough, you can stick it in your garage. Just make sure it stays below 40 degrees. The next day. The next day, pull the turkey out of the brine. Pull that turkey out of the brine, drain off all that excess liquid, and right onto a sheet pan. It's a heavy bird. Pull out all those aromatics. The flavor is already in the bird. Now the most important thing we need to do is let this baby dry. We don't want to put a wet bird into hot oil. So I recommend this being a three day process. As far as Thanksgiving is concerned, I say brine on Tuesday, pull it out on Wednesday, leave this in your refrigerator overnight once again to let it air dry and fry on Thursday. The most important thing is a dry bird. So once you pull it out, I want you to take some wads of paper towel. I want you to dry it up as much as you can. Take some paper towel and literally, see that? Just stuff it into the cavity. You can never have too much paper towel, especially when it comes to drying your Thanksgiving Day turkey. Get some underneath it, all over the place. You want to make sure that skin is super dry so it gets nice and crispy. What I like to do is literally roll it all around, throw this baby back in the fridge to let it air dry uncovered overnight before we throw our bird in the fridge to dry overnight for maximum moisture potential. We're gonna jack it up with some more of that solution. I'm gonna take a good amount and I'm gonna jack it a few times in the breast. Watch it blow up. See that? See how it just blows up? Don't forget to hit the thigh meat underneath the legs as well. Now take that bird, throw it in the fridge, uncovered overnight to let that skin get nice and dry before we fry it. The following day. Day three, Thanksgiving day. We pulled that beautiful dry bird out of the fridge I'm gonna get rid of all this excess paper towel. Make sure it's nice and dry all over the place. Get rid of that. Need a few pieces of butcher twine ready. Our oil is getting nice and hot outside. Time to get the bird ready to fry. I like to season the outside with salt and pepper, just like I season any protein, because you want that skin to be nice and crispy and nice and tasty. All over the place, right? Smack it around, flip it up. We all know when it comes to fried chicken, or shall I say fried turkey, the skin is the best part. So don't forget the season. Make sure it's coated all over the place. Time to get our bird on the stand before we throw it in the deep fryer. Just like that. Right through the middle. Should stay nice and upright. 
but just to make sure we get some nice uniform cooking, same way we truss a chicken, we're just gonna tie this baby up so it all holds nicely together. Our bird is brined, our bird is dried, our bird is seasoned. It's time to fry. If you are gonna fry your turkey, I suggest you fry it outside. I had a couple candy burner stoves built just for this, because what can I say? I like the fries. Notice they're away. They're away from everything else, because you don't want kids running around or dogs running around when you're deep frying. If you do have a portable candy stove that you bought, just make sure you put some cones up around it or put it someplace where people are not gonna be near it. And make sure you always have one of those around. Hopefully you won't need to use it, but just in case you do. Our oil is a temp. We're about 385 degrees, nice and hot. You never drop anything into oil unless it's about 375. Safety first, don't be afraid to wear a safety glove. Take your hook, that's what it's for. Hook that bird on and away we go. Most importantly, the oil's to temp. The bird is nice and dry. Make it a ceremony. Call everybody around the fry when it's time to drop. And when you drop, you drop in small stages. Don't just drop that bird at one time. You have to let that water evaporate. How do you know when it's cooked? This is a 16 pound bird. 45 minutes should do the trick. I would not recommend going bigger than 18 pounds. Too big for the bot, takes too long to cook. 16 to 18 pounds is your sweet spot. It drops the temperature of the oil. We want to get that back up to 350 and then maintain the heat. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Total cook time, 55 minutes, 16 pound bird. We maintained 350 degrees the entire time. It was nice and dried, it was nice and brined, and it's perfectly golden brown. Our deep fried bird has been resting for about 20 minutes. Very important, let all those juices evenly redistribute throughout the bird, and skin stays nice and crispy, and I promise you it's still hot inside. First, we're gonna take off the legs and thighs, then carve off the breasts. Still smoking hot 20 minutes later. Trust me. Nice and crispy, you hear that? Oh yeah. Nothing gets me as excited about a deep fried turkey. The best part about carving up a deep fried turkey, half the time, it doesn't even make it to the dinner table. Just have everybody gather around and whack up pieces and feed them. When everybody's standing around, by the way, nothing goes to waste. You just pull off all these pieces of fried turkey and fried skin and hand them around, trust me. It's finger licking good, y'all. Just pull off pieces and hand them to anybody that's around here. Get over here. I don't want that whole Get thing. over here, just shove that in your mouth. Come on, how good is that? Come on. Now we're gonna whack off the wings and the breasts. Put those on the platter as well. By the way, go find yourself some gravy and sit yourself in the corner somewhere and whack on that wing. If you're ever gonna bust out the electric knife, Thanksgiving Day is the day to do it. Nice half inch slices, keeps the skin nice and tacky. Look at that meat, nice and juicy, smoking hot. And you always gotta take care of your sous chef. This guy's been waiting patiently all day long. What do you think, cold man? Happy Thanksgiving, everybody, and thanks for tuning in. Truth is, we don't need turkey offered enough.